Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm quite excited today because I'm going to reveal how I create my digital collages by showing you the behind the scenes capture of Inspiration by Night and Creation by Day. This is a two part piece painting that I was working on for like two weeks and I recorded the whole process and for the first time I'm going to reveal exactly how I work. So this is not exactly a tutorial. I kind of just wanted to give an overview of how I work rather than like break it down step by step as to exactly how I work. However, in the future, I plan to make tutorials of how to do the precise different things. But meanwhile, go get a cup of tea and sit back and enjoy because it's a long video. It's over 16 minutes and let's dive right in. So if you've happened to watch the inspiration video of uh, how I came about to create this picture, you've already seen the sketches of these pieces. The first step is to import them into Photoshop. I place them both over each other to try and get an idea of exactly how they're going to fit in the image, because one had an outstretched arm, so I needed it to also fit in the exact same space. I spoke about being in Portugal and taking photos of tiles. and. This is the first step usually when I start a digital collage, I work on the background. In this case, the background was a little bit more complicated than usual. I prefer to tile my own pattern rather than like take a whole big pattern and then add in flaws later. The funny thing is, if you've seen the finished picture, you know that the background is gonna change drastically. After I finished that wall, I kind of was like, oh, I don't, I'm not feeling that tile. So I tried in a different tile and I went for the pink tile. So if you're wondering where I'm getting these photos, I use like uh, regular stock photography websites that you, um, you either pay for or some free ones like Pixabay that are, don't require attribution. As much as possible though, I try to use my own stock. I took a photo of a pot from, the, from my balcony and I arranged it to fit the scene because it was, wasn't quite the same shape that I wanted. <laughs> so, that, you saw it quickly go there. I take photos of my body parts sometimes and put them into pictures and I really like to include my eyes I mean if you've seen my inspiration video for this piece you will know that this these two paintings are kind of a representation of my own inspiration and like my process So here's the ear. I kind of really enjoy doing the ear. Um, I'm, I try to really edit every single thing so that every, even body parts that I use look faked. Um, so I don't leave them as is. I almost, I prefer to pick small parts and then composite them in a kind of Frankenstein way rather than uh, like use a whole body or a whole leg or something like that. It's just my personal style. Um, but I also feel that I really like the painting to look kind of this like weird surreal like you're not sure if it's a painting or not. I mean you're sure it's a painting but it has this like hyper real areas. Mm -hmm. 
I really enjoy doing the hair. It's my, some of my favorite. I tried to include some baby hair in there, but I realized that it wasn't working. So this is the bit with the Elizabethan rough. Um, I, I imported an old painting to kind of inspire me as to the arrangement of the rough, even though I actually didn't make it look like it in the end. So I just used a tiny piece of lace and then, as you can see, I composited it and painted over it to look like a rough. I kept changing the position slightly. I wanted really to, this, this person to look kind of like really powerful and intense, like having an intense stare. So I kept changing the pose until like the gesture was correct. I took this like Persian rug stock photo and I decided that I would put use it as like the texture for the fabric of the clothing of the figure and so I kind of made my own pattern from the pattern that was already existing. With this digital collage I uh, like replay I, I really included all my mistakes. Um, I go back on like thoughts a lot so as you, can, as you see especially in this part when I put the orange overlay I decide that like the wall kind of like isn't working even after I've really worked on it and stuff. And um, it kind of gets, it gets replaced with some like plain concrete. At first I tried to keep it a little bit and maybe just fade it and I just was like, okay, I have to ditch the tiles, it's fine. I used two, two different types of wall here. Again, it's just to make it look more surreal and not like have one whole big thing at the back that is taken from just one source. Unfortunately, I've cut through most of doing the stained glass, but I managed to keep one last bit. So even the stained glass is not just one window, I included bits from stock stained glass and I cut it all up. So I created my own effect. So I go through so many plant options. I decided to try maybe something a little bit more like designy. I then ditched it. I think it would have worked with the pink, but I, I wanted something more textured. So I stopped and I decided instead I would focus on like uh, trying to finish the body parts. For me, it's this like balance of stylized style with actual phot photography. So the leaf may be a photograph, but the arrangement of the leaf is uh, in into a tree is actually manual. It kind of makes things look just weird the way I like them too. I like putting fruit on the trees. This was like kind of fun. So this little bullfinch, I'm speeding through it here, but this is an example of like how I edit things so that they don't look so real. So I make the head a little bit bigger and the body a little bit smaller. And these are kind of like elements of my style.
and the final part is like putting on those like lovely bits of water and day is finished I started with day because it had the most light in and then the next picture I was gonna darken everything so that's why I started with day even though it's technically the second part of the diptych so now we're just gonna go in and start working on night so what I do is I've had things in layers and I just take everything off except the face because I went through I, at first I really wanted to keep the face like facing forward so that it would stay symmetrical and also be recognizably the same person in the day picture. So finally her face started to look a little bit, you know, cute. <laughs> all my all my digitally collaged faces look grotesque, but there's there's like a line and she she you know she started to look ghostly at least, not like ugly. And that's it. So that's basically my process. It was super sped up. Like my ent the entire thing was 18 hours long. That's how long it took me to create these pictures. So I compressed those like 5,000% in order to bring you this, this um, video. I hope you really enjoyed it and maybe that ins has inspired you to do digital collage. Um, I will be making more more detailed tutorials in the future so if you want me to focus on something specific just let me know in the comments down below and thanks for watching